All right, folks, welcome back to another episode of Lunch with Doug. Today, it's Who is Dangerous Doug Harper? I think you might know the answer to that. But we're going to elaborate on that for you today on Lunch with Doug. Welcome to the brand new episode of Lunch with Doug, a unique and fun experience brought to you by the creative minds at the Music Exerbia Project and Go With Doug. We're here today thanks to the generous support of our esteemed sponsors and they are as follows. Harry Frog Graphics, your go-to destination for all things graphic at 150 North Commercial in Nevada, Missouri. Reach out to them at 417-381-1077. Karen McNair, your friendly neighborhood nutritionist. Dial 269-267-4644 to learn about the monthly information class or to schedule a personal consultation. Boutique Marketplace, more than 17 vendors, including the second edition Shop Inside, located at 500 East Cherry Street in Nevada, Missouri, at the historic Village Mall property, where currently the Elite Fitness Gym is located. Impact Graphics, Nevada's first full-service print shop, conveniently located at 1414-4 East Highway 54, right next to Mr. D's. Contact them at 417-283-2056. John's Barbershop, located at 121 West Cherry Street in Nevada, Missouri. Open Tuesday through Friday. Walk-ins only. No appointment needed. American Legion Post Number 2, located at 402 East Cherry Street, Nevada, Missouri. Newly remodeled with a clean, fresh look, gaming machines, and new smoke eaters. Open to the public. Nevada Tobacco and Convenience Store, the store next door, your local store. At 125 West Cherry Street, Nevada, Missouri, open seven days a week, now featuring new pinball machines and, of course, the Red Cherry Alley intimate songwriter performance series at 8 p.m. each Friday through September. Thank you for spending your lunchtime with me. I'm your host, Dangerous Doug Harper, and welcome to Lunch with Doug. Hello, friends and fellow music enthusiasts. I'm Dangerous Doug Harper, and today I am thrilled to share a bit about myself and all of the things that I'm involved in in good old Nevada, Missouri. So let's talk about that. Um, We are, from music events to community events, things I promote... Um, there's always something in my life, there's always something exciting and there's always something happening. Um, especially in Nevada where there is a lot of events, but sometimes it's, there's just, there's not much going on. It has its pockets. Um, let's dive into some of the main things that I, uh, I'm involved in folks. Music on the square. Um, I'm going to say this is probably one of my proudest achievements for Nevada, Missouri, Music on the Square, um, which we started as Music on the Square, but if you go to the Facebook, it's Music on Square. So we got rid of the the facebook.com forward slash Music on Square. Um, it is now held the first Saturday of each month in conjunction with um, the first Saturday on the Square. Community pairing, as I like to call it. Uh, it comes from March until October. We used to be just May to September, but we've expanded it as they've started their expanding their thing. Uh, so this event transforms the, or originally, I guess I should say, it transformed the Courthouse Square into a lively hub of music and community spirit. Now it is, it can, it has a, there's a street market going on, and then the music there during the day, and then of course it winds down on the South uh, Courthouse Lawn as we like to call it, classic music on the square. It's a, it's a fantastic opportunity for uh, local artists to showcase their talents and for the community to come together and enjoy some great tunes, have some shopping options, and uh, whether you're a performer or a listener, this is, uh, this is a celebration of our shared love for music. My music, uh, as a musician, I have always had the pleasure of creating and performing a variety of songs that I feel like resonate with people um, from what I would call my heartfelt living out your dreams, a 
uh, really hits home to the musicians and me, to the lively Condo in Como, which is a song about my friend moving to Columbia, Missouri. Uh, my music spans different genres, different themes. Uh, I strive to tell stories through my songs that uh, hopefully connect with listeners on a personal level. Uh, you can find my music on various platforms, of course, like Spotify and Apple and all those good things. And, uh, of course, I always pr- appreciate some spins and supports from my friends and fans and family and whatnot. Uh, so you've been hearing a lot about Red Cherry Alley. It's a, an exciting venture that I've been working on uh, that's going to be an outdoor venue becoming a cornerstone for live music in Nevada, offering a space for intimate performances and possibly later even a little larger events. Um, Already hosted numerous shows in that vein, not actually in the alley. We've not done that yet, but we've hosted shows at the store next door, the Intimate Songwriter Performance Series, which I believe I could be wrong, but I believe we did 19 of those. The idea was 24 shows in 20. 24, and we've definitely surpassed that, but they all didn't end up being intimate songwriter series, but I believe we did 19 of those, um, which is exciting. Um, so yeah, it's always a joy to see uh, members of the community come out and support the local artists, as well as myself. I've played uh, at one of those on the mini stage for the Intimate Songwriter Night, and that was exciting. Um, one of my favorite shows all year. So the Red Cherry Alley, more than just a venue, going to be a place where creative and creativity thrives. Wow. And where where connections are made. I am uh, also proud to be associated with the Cotty College. I work there part-time. It is an independent liberal arts and sciences women's college right here in good old Nevada, Missouri. Uh, The college has rich history and a commitment to empowering young women and I've had the opportunity to collaborate with Cloudy College on various events, bringing music and education together in a very meaningful way, uh, to not only to me, to the students, to the staff, and to the community and the extended uh, folks that come in. It's, uh, it's always inspiring to see the students, their, uh, their passion and their talent, and I'm honored to be a part of their journey. Uh, lately I have been making music mixes and of course still producing that local ear magazine. Um, and there is one, there's a music mix for the local ear magazine. Now I stick strictly on my, my, uh, music mixes on Spotify. That's because I'm, I'm sort of, uh, I sort of endorse Spotify just because I feel like it's, um, the, one of the best places for new to discover new music. So I, feel like it patches you into discovering music that you're wanting to find. And I've found so many new artists that I, well, some of them are old artists, but I found new music to me for the first time I'm hearing it based off of what I'm playing. And they do a fantastic job of that. So I'm always proud to be part of that. Plus it's uh, my, it seems to me like it's one of the easiest places to get to, too. Uh, you can hear the podcast, you can hear my music on there. So I just love Spotify. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about, um, uh, so the, this is all in addition to my performances, of course. Uh, I enjoy creating music mixes, but sometimes I even make like either I make little albums that maybe didn't originally exist or maybe they did exist with the songs that maybe didn't get released digitally, but I have the playlist for it. I know that's complicated. <laughs> maybe. Does that all make sense? I hope it does. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's a music mix of my songs. Now, not all my music mixes are that. Sometimes I, I tend to put David Bowie in a lot of my mixes. Um, so, in fact, I'll I'll take a I'll take a second. I'm getting kind of off my off my roll here, but I'll take a second to read you some of the music mix titles that you can find on Spotify. Of course, there is a Red Cherry Alley mix. Then, of course, there is an Intimate Songwriter Performance Series mix. There is the I Want the Sky. I'm going to just read you this one. This is the mix you have been waiting for. There is the When You Fall in Love mix. Don't you wish when you fall in love that there was a warning label? I like that. That's funny. 
I'm going to have Love Deluxe. This is called If Love Could Change the World, This Mix Would Be It. This is one of my newer mixes, so if you've been on my, found me on, uh, it's my personal profile, so it's Doug Harper, and it'll have the same picture as my Facebook, which currently is a cat, a gray cat. But anyway, Love Deluxe is pretty awesome. It's got like Joe Cocker, Eric Clapton, Chris Isaac, the band Love. Of course, again, David Bowie, Luke Burr, The Wallflowers, Eddie Vedder and Cat Power, Ben Rector, uh, some more Joe Cocker, some more David Bowie. Sade is on there. John Mayer's on this mix. Uh, Sheila Nichols, The Cardigans, Maroon 5, Shania Twain. I mean, the, the list goes on. Urge Overkill. Uh, this is just a fantastic mix, by the way. Uh, so you should listen to it. Then I have Poke the Box, which is more of like alternative and rock kind of mix. What's its description? There's no description. It's just called Poke the Box. Now, each of these, I have these cool um, designs I've made that looks like album art. So it's kind of cool to see these cover designs. You and Me is one of my newer ones. This mix is for you and me. Haha, <laughs> how funny is that? It's got some David Bowie, Neon Trees, Portugal the Man, Aerosmith, Kevin Hart, Blessed Unions of Soul, uh, Home Free, John Wesley Harding, The Band, I mean, it, even ACDC's on this mix, The Runaways, Fifth Dimension, and and more, folks. That's fun. So let's see what else I got. Parallel Universe. This is one of my favorites, too. This one has Lenny Kravitz, Faith No More, Peter Bentz, uh, Bad Lip Reading, David Bowie, Deep Purple. There, that was fun. Uh, the Acabellas, Weezer, uh, Jonathan Colton, uh, Ace of Bass, Founds of Wayne, The Velvet Underground. This is a cool mix, too. One of my Parallel Universe, one of my favorites. Don't Stop Me Now mix. Then we have a uh, Real, Real Stone. We have, oh, one of my personal favorites also is Bring Funk Back. Then we have The Life of Dangerous Doug. This just this is a really long one. It's got songs that influenced my life through the whole, and, and and it's just really, yeah, it goes through a bunch of songs that I used to listen to throughout life, and it's a lot of songs. I've got one called Summer Love that's pretty awesome. There's 78. Now that one is all my songs um, that has a theme. Then there's Peace in the Spirit, which is like, uh, should be an album. I might actually put this one out as an album. Now, all these songs are on different albums released, but they, they go together. So I might put that one out. And then we got Colonel Mitchell Mix, which is basically my songs and John Lennon songs and some other songs, too, that just, I feel like, represent Colonel Mitchell well. Remembering the Mitchell Hotel and its creator, it's an interesting mix. Then I have Ark and Mook. That's Capital A, capital K, capital N, capital O, because those are the states, Arkansas, Kansas, Missouri, and Oklahoma. And this is all the music that's coming out from the, those people that are in those areas that are playing around here and stuff. So it comes out, I, I update it with new songs every time somebody comes out. Currently the newest one that's come out from around here is Russell Wayne Hughes, River Mirror. Should I know about it? And if I don't know about it, I'll put it in later. All right, enough about these mixes. Oh, I do actually do mixes for hire, too, and I have one I made for John's Barbershop. That's cool. You can find it on there. So if you'd like to hire me to make you a mix, I would be willing to do that. Now, it's more expensive than you think, but it really takes a lot more time than people think for me to f filter through a ton of songs. Of course, there's a Lunch with Doug mix as well. There's a Local Air magazine. I don't even know what's on the Lunch with Doug soundtrack. Oh, our old theme song. And some people we've talked to on the show. That will, of course, Olivia Need is on there. She was on the show, of course. I uh, love the Kentucky Hunters, of course, because one of them guys was on our show. Uh, Stacy Antonell, she was on our show. So we got her on there, of course. Okay. Well, this is exciting. I forgot. I haven't seen this in a while. So I'll get back to my protocol. I'm starting to ramble. <laughs> but I'm excited about music mixes. It makes me happy. Um, it's because I enjoy these uh, creating music mixes and, and blending different styles and genres. And it's a way for me to like experiment with sound and share new music uh, with, with the audience. And uh, you can often find these mixes also featured in the magazine. I'll talk about them. And the magazine, of course, is 
dedicated to promoting local music and art and culture and it's a fantastic platforms for artists a platform for artists to gain expo- uh, exposure if i can spit my words out here and for the community to stay uh kind of connected so that's fun yes so being dangerous Doug harper is uh about uh, a lot more than just making music. It's about building community, bringing music and community together, supporting local talent, creating spaces where people can come together and celebrate the arts. In in I kind of specialize in in a more casual, outside of the way sort of thing. Um, and this is whether it's through Music on the Square, Red Cherry Alley, Con College, or Local Ear Magazine. I'm committed to making a vibrant and inclusive scene around our parts. So thanks for being a part of this journey with me. And even more importantly, thanks for spending a lunch time with me today. Here on Lunch with Doug. Thanks to the generous support of our esteemed sponsors. And they are as follows. Harry Frog Graphics, your go-to destination for all things graphic at 150 North Commercial in Nevada, Missouri. Reach out to them at 417-381-1077. Karen McNair, your friendly neighborhood nutritionist. Dial 269-267-4644 to learn about the monthly information class or to schedule a personal consultation. Boutique Marketplace, more than 17 vendors, including the second edition Shop Inside, located at 500 East Cherry Street in Nevada, Missouri, at the historic Village Mall property, where currently the Elite Fitness Gym is located. Impact Graphics, Nevada's first full-service print shop, conveniently located at 14144 East Highway 54, right next to Mr. D's. Contact them at 417-283-2056. John's Barbershop, located at 121 West Cherry Street in Nevada, Missouri. Open Tuesday through Friday. Walk-ins only. No appointment needed. American Legion, post number two, located at 402 East Cherry Street in Nevada, Missouri. Newly remodeled with a clean, fresh look, gaming machines, and new smoke eaters. Open to the public. Nevada Tobacco and Convenience Store, the store next door, your local store at 125 West Cherry Street, Nevada, Missouri, open seven days a week, now featuring new pinball machines and, of course, the Red Cherry Alley intimate songwriter performance series at 8 p.m. each Friday through September. <laughs>